Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you've ever looked at charts on TradingView and wondered how traders use special tools to find powerful support and resistance levels, this tutorial is for you. Today I'm going to show you exactly how to draw a GAN box on TradingView, and by the end of this video you'll know not just how to plot it, but also a bit about why the GAN box is such a favorite among technical analysts. Alright, let's get straight into it. First, take a look at your TradingView screen. Over on the left-hand side, you'll see the drawing panel. It's packed with all sorts of tools to help you analyze the charts. Take your time here because TradingView organizes its tools in a pretty intuitive way. What you're looking for is the GAN box, which typically lives in the same group as other GAN tools and Fibonacci tools. If you don't see it right away, look for the little geometric shapes icon and then expand that section. Sometimes it just takes a click or two. Once you spot the GAN box, go ahead and click on it. Now here comes the fun part. Plotting it on your chart, your cursor changes to let you know you're in drawing mode. Just click where you'd like the first corner of your box, then drag diagonally across your chart to stretch out the GAN box to your desired size. Think of it like laying down a transparent grid over the area of price action you want to study. Maybe you're looking at a particular swing high and swing low, or a specific consolidation range. The important thing is to position the GAN box so that it covers the price movement you're interested in analyzing. If you're new to this, don't worry if your first box isn't perfect. You can always adjust it later by clicking and dragging the corners or edges. TradingView makes this super easy so you can experiment until the box frames your target area just right. Now once you have your GAN box on the chart, you'll notice it's not just a simple rectangle, it's filled with horizontal and vertical divisions. This is where the magic of the GAN box starts to come into play. If you want to make the lines pop, or maybe tone down the colors so they don't overwhelm your other analysis, you can customize all sorts of settings. Just double-click on the box and you'll open up an options window. Here you can change the opacity, adjust the number of divisions, tweak the colors, and even decide which levels or lines are visible. Customization is completely up to you, and it's a great way to make the tool match your own style of chart analysis. So that's the how, but let's pause for a second and talk about why the GAN box exists and what makes it so useful. The GAN box is based on the ideas of WD. GAN, a legendary trader who believed that both price and time move in harmonic relationships. Essentially, this tool helps you forecast where future support and resistance levels might occur, not just by looking at price, but by thinking about time as well. Imagine laying a chessboard over your price chart. The intersections of the grid can help you anticipate where significant turning points might develop. Many traders use the GAN box together with other tools for even more confirmation. And that's really all there is to it. But understanding how to plot and adjust the GAN box gives you access to a powerful way of seeing the market that stood the test of time. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure you hit the like button and let me know in the comments if you have any questions or want to see more charting techniques broken down step by step. Don't forget to subscribe for more hands-on trading tutorials just like this one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.